So morning uh, again, church. Um, this morning I've been reading in Luke's gospel, um, particularly around chapter 10, um, verse 40, 41, 42. Um, very, very familiar. Um, Jesus says he's talking to two sisters and he says to one of them, Martha, Martha, you're anxious and you're troubled about many things. Uh, but one thing is necessary. And Mary, your sister, she's chosen what's really important at this moment. Everybody's concerned that lots of things have stopped um, uh, and for good reason. Sport is one of them. Um, I'm not a great sports fan, but I remember back in 2003 when you may or may not remember Johnny Wilkinson, the great and famous um, rugby player playing for Britain, um, scored um, a winning try. Um, uh, it was a, called a drop kick. And uh, it, there was something special about the way that he did it. We were, we seemed to be less interested, you know, in the fact that he'd scored the winning goal, um, more interested in the way he did it. So there he was, surrounded by thousands upon thousands of people, screaming and shouting and clapping and photographing. And he needed to still himself. And he stepped forward and clasped his hands in a very special way. And if you recall, he looked at the goal and he looked at his hands. He looked at the goal and he looked at his hands. This was his way of, if you like, blocking out all of those sounds and all of that um, roar of the crowd. You see, what he was trying to do was focus his attention on the one thing that mattered at that moment. Martha was doing nothing technically wrong. In fact, <laughs> verse 40 tells us that Martha was distracted, really, by genuinely important and in some ways necessary things. But she became wrongly judgmental about what other people were doing. I know the feeling. Even, she accused Jesus almost, of not caring. Unimaginable, isn't it? Jesus' response is a very, very simple challenge. He says, Martha, you see, Martha, you've focused on the wrong thing. And what he suggests is, in verse 42, that she should have taken this opportunity, just as a sister Mary had. Mary wasn't a better person. But neither was she lazy the way that her Martha, her sister, had talked. Martha seemed to be saying, in a sense, that she couldn't recognise the importance of prioritising and focusing on the one thing that mattered at that moment. And it was Jesus, of course. Life, for many of us today, is so vastly different to the way it was a week, two, three weeks ago. It's a bit of a tangled mess. And there's an unseen enemy lurking somewhere out there in the ether, isn't there? We're not really sure how to identify this enemy. But I want to tell you, that's an enemy of your mortal body. And what Jesus said to Martha was you need to focus on the eternal things. She wanted to feed them that day. He wanted to feed them for all eternity. So maybe, maybe this terrible virus will take one or two of us, many more. It can only take our body. And as Christians today, I, I take great encouragement, really, that today I might identify the one thing that matters, separating out all those noises and screams and cries like Johnny Wilkinson. We wouldn't focus on the goal and we wouldn't focus on our hands. We'd focus on the cross and we'd focus on Jesus. And maybe that's the most important thing that we could do today is to focus not on the mortal, the temporal, but on the eternal. And on the one who beckons us to look to him there. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy the scripture. Enjoy your prayer life. Pray for each one of us. And focus on that one thing that matters. Jesus. Every blessing.